Welcome to another 88k model railroad video and this video is a follow-up on the ESP 8266 light meters that we built a while back and if you recall we used the ESP 8266 module, the KY018 and the TEMT6000 as the sensor. We used the um, Arduino SketchUp to create the code for the ESP8266 and it was working. If you recall, we were using the interface for RockRail to get the serial port readout. But I wanted something more specific and something more catered to what I needed and that's when I thought okay I'll just make my own uh, interf GUI interface so that's what this is and that's what this video is about is to show you the GUI interface and kind of give you a little bit of insight of uh, what I did and uh, I end up using the Visual Studio I think it was 2017 I use C then I pulled out the tutorials for the serial port and then kind of created a list of things that I want and that's kind of that use, use design uh, layout. And you just kind of look at all your uses and whatnot and then design it and then from there you do your, your layout. So with that said, let's start to look at it in detail. Okay, so here's a graphical display of the interface, and I kind of want to go over it just to give you guys a little idea of how it was done. Now, to go through the whole, to create a whole uh, tutorial to do it is, is a lot, but I want to get to the build, so that's why I'm just going to give you kind of an a overview and an idea of what I what I did. So this was done in uh, Visual Studio, and I think Visual Studio 17, and it's uh, C Sharp is the language. And what I basically did was I went out and found the tutorial, and I looked for how to access the COM port and the, the, the serial uh, port. And with that, I brought that tutorial in and I started building up, learning uh, how to display and print out the values. And little by little, I just built each module up and I started with the COM port, then to get the display the way that I wanted. And then once I could get the display or get the values in a text box, then I started extracting the text box and then I put it in a power uh, uh, meter here so once i got this side going then i started to ask myself what is it that i want and this is what i meant by the design uh, use uh, design method because then i started creating uh, kind of a list saying well i need to take four readings and i need to kind of note them down so then i started adding uh, these little buttons here so these are the store buttons for one two three four and then once you click the button then it will go in and store the values and then you could clear the values out and and whatnot and now these are all just simple commands when you click that button there's a list of commands or there's a script uh, I guess that's the best way to say that the button will carry out. So whatever you do, you just you create a button. Said I want to do this. I want this button to do this, and then you just jot down the list of things that you want it to do, and then go into the program and find out how do you make that particular thing happen. And you could go in and just do simple uh, boxes saying print out this or or whatnot, and just build your module. And now once you do that, then you're able to just kind of play around, play around, and then you'll get to the point where you say, okay, this is what I like, and then you can deploy it. So now with that said, let's close this. And now here's the module itself. And you can see here, let's disconnect it. And now if you go in and you actually put like COM port 1, now I have this connected, and then... Once you connect it, if it's not on the right COM port, then you're not going to see the value. In this case, I'm on 18. So now let's disconnect and then connect it. And now you see it starts pulling in what it's receiving on the serial port. Now, the 
the bolt if you remember on the sketchup the sketchup puts out the bolts and it puts out the lumens and with the lumens it was a little problematic because it came out with the value of let's say this 29 two nine zero zero dot zero zero and then it had the lumens and now in order to kind of put this lumen into this power meter it had to be an integer so there's a script or there's a command that allows you to extract all of the alphanumeric values out of the string and then convert the string over to an integer and that integer allows you to uh, or you can put an integer into this power uh, level so that's what I did so there's a lot of kind of little things that you you have to work around but for the most part it's viable because everything you see that here I actually pulled it off of YouTube and went through the the tutorials so but I have to add I did have or I do have programming experience so it wasn't that difficult so if you have a little bit of programming experience and that's it if not then you could start off with visual basic and visual basic is a simple way of kind of doing uh, th which is exactly like this just different commands okay so now let's go in and so I needed to make four uh, readings because I'm going to build the module or the little modules in four steps and that way I can dial in to see exactly what's uh, what's what now I want to put lenses on the track themselves and now with the lenses when you put it in it has what they call a focal point and that's where the light will shine so you can control how the light is dispersed via the lens so that's why I'm trying to get detailed into this because um, I have the some of the tracks or one of them built and then you can see here this is on the end scale but I don't like the fact that that sits right there in a the track so I want to replace one of the gray ties with a, a lens and then that will hold the track so it becomes a little bit aesthetic uh, pleasing more so than them those big holes so with that I have to like let's say for example the first test I'll test the light and then the second one let's say for example different aperture here and then you know it just continues on so now these are the different values and now what I'll do is I'll find the value that actually triggers the uh, sensor and once I can see and see what the values are that triggers a sensor, then I can dial in the uh, lenses to get the exact, uh, uh, or I shouldn't say exact, to get to a point where it's wide enough that it will see and detect the light based on how the train covers the light. So that's why I've had to build this and this became kind of uh, an important part so now that pretty much covers it and a lot of the stuff that I'm doing I'm showing you guys that you can do it you just have to go in and sit back think about it and then especially with YouTube you're able to build and get a lot a wealth of information and actually get any of your your um, your projects done so some of my videos are kind of long and drawn out but I want to make sure that at least I can point you in the right direction and then you guys can go off and and you know do these things for yourself and that's kind of the base uh, or the premise of the um, of the whole um, the whole uh, site itself or the whole uh, channel is to be able to show and even bring more technical stuff down where you guys can see it and then do it for yourself so with that said my next thing is to actually work on the uh, sensors themselves and to break uh, make the module so what I'm going to try to do and this is for the end scale is I'm going to try to go in and put these modules into these pieces and that way I can put them along the track and remember we use the 124s for the station so this would have a sensor embedded into it then the um, this is not a 124, but that's what we had. Another 124, and then another sensor here. 
and then that way we're able to move them around and then after I'm done with the um, the wiki demo I can uh, reuse those and then start placing them all throughout my uh, my layout so that's what the uh, uh, that's what the plan is and now let's see if we can get it done so as usual guys like subscribe and we'll talk to you later bye